The API Gateway acts like a smart middleman. It sits between your front-end and all your back-end microservices. Instead of calling each service directly, the client talks to the gateway. And the gateway takes care of routing the request to the right service. But it does more than just forwarding traffic. It can handle authentication, transform requests, apply rate limits, log traffic, and even cache responses. It becomes a centralized layer of control for all communication coming into your system. Let's go back to that e-commerce example to see how this works in action. Say a customer opens your app, they browse the catalog, log in, add items to their cart and check out. Here's what's really happening under the hood. When you have an API gateway in place, first the front end sends a login request to the gateway. The gateway forwards it to the user service which checks credentials and returns a token. Next, the customer browses products. The front end sends a request like slash API slash products. The gateway knows that this should go to the product service, so it routes the request accordingly, maybe even adding a security header or logging the user ID for tracing. Later, when the customer checks out, the front end makes a single call to slash API slash checkout. But the gateway knows that this action involves multiple services the cart, the inventory, the order and the payment. So the gateway either coordinates those requests or hands them off to a back-end for front-end service that does. From the client's perspective, everything is simple and clean. Just one domain to call, one token to manage, one API contract to worry about and if something changes behind the scenes like the order service gets a new version or the payment service moves to another port, the client doesn't need to care, the gateway handles it all. Another key benefit of the API gateway pattern is security. Since all external traffic passes through a single point, you can enforce consistent authentication and authorization. You can add SSL termination, token validation, IP whitelisting, all without writing that logic in every service. And because the gateway sees all traffic, it's the perfect place to add monitoring, tracing or request logs. That's critical when something goes wrong and you need to track down what happened. Now, of course, the API gateway itself becomes a critical piece of infrastructure. If it goes down, nothing gets in. So it has to be resilient, fast and well monitored. And you need to avoid putting too much business logic into the gateway. Keep it focused on routing and cross cutting concerns, not core service logic. The API gateway isn't just helpful. It's essential. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.